first question, will this be the best DH season of all time? Let's go back through the years. There are fewer, by the way, great DH seasons than you think. And you're thinking, no, Big Poppy, Edgar Martinez, Paul Molitor, late in his career. But yeah, after you go through a bunch of those names, it falls off very quickly. It's actually more difficult to hit as a DH than as a position player. There's a DH penalty on the by and large, as there is for pinch hitters. It's hard to come off the pine and just hit. So here are the best seasons ever at DH as ranked by OPS+. Plus. There's a number of ways of doing it, but we'll go by OPS+. Plus. Again, 100 is league average. Otani's at 220. And the record, Edgar Martinez, 1995. A 185, just ahead of Shohei Otani from last year at 184. The best big poppy year was 2007 at 171, and Shohei Otani is on pace to beat these easily. The next question, and I know you don't want to hear it, and when I first heard of Shohei Otani and thought of the possibility of a hitter in the major leagues also pitching, I didn't think I'd eventually become such a killjoy. But since Otani has become the best hitter in the game, is it time to just let him hit and play a position? Is it possible, I'm asking, that the best way to maximize Otani is to just let him hit? You have to ask, how many innings of quality pitching are you getting from him anyway? Take a look. Shohei Otani is playing his seventh season in the United States. If you total up his innings for seven full seasons, he's played seven, this is number seven, he will, by the end of this year, have averaged 69 innings a season. Look at that. There's a zero, one and two thirds. That's basically zero. Another zero. He's missing years. You can say, hey, he's missing a lot of those seasons. Yeah, he's missing seasons because of arm injuries. He's missed three already. And even when he's reasonably healthy, he's pitching about 130. Topped off at 166. That's the max you ever got out of him. So if a guy is averaging around 70 innings a season in his 20s, what do you expect to get from that guy in his 30s? Doesn't get better, not normally. He's only in his age 29 season. He is the best hitter in baseball. He's played the outfield before. And there is a strain on the team to mixing Otani into the rotation where it works for him. It takes a lot of mental energy. It's not, it's not a bizarre thought by any means. I think you think about where he is right now. He was the most protected starting pitcher of aces out there because he's in a six-man rotation. They protect him, and he still broke down. Mm -hmm. So how do you manage him moving forward? Because... If he was the most protected guy and he broke down to have Tommy John surgery, do you have to protect him more now than you did before? Plus, you need a six-man rotation. It affects everybody else in the rotation. You need everybody else to buy into it. And so I get it. I mean, I completely understand the logic of wondering what it is. That being said, he is so special when he is on the mound. He is an ace pitcher uh, that it's hard to walk away from him pitching. So I would leave him doing it. But if he breaks down again, I'm with you. I think you have to make him a position player, not a DH. Oh, yeah. Oh, a no, position he's playing right player. field. Right. Yes, so, absolutely. so you're yeah. getting value from a defensive player. You're getting that defense now as a pitcher, mm -hmm. but you'll get that value as a right fielder for him at some point in the future. If right. not, I would leave him pitching right now, but I completely get the risk of it and how difficult it is to put a staff together and manage that staff with Otani in it. Okay. Okay, that was very nice. Uh, and Steve is eloquent, not like me. I think it's crazy if we own the Dodgers right now. We just gave him $700 million. We just invested on a eight-war player in 21, a nine-war player in 22. Yes, I'm using war. And a nine-war <laughs> in 23. That yeah. comes out to about $8 million per war point. Not sure who figured that out. Maybe your guys. That's $64 million, <laughs> $72 <laughs> million, $72 million. Here's my point. And Steve is right. This guy, when he's on the mound, I mean, right before he broke it, if you will, he's throwing 101 miles an hour. He averages 97. He's got a split last year in 23 that was an 085 how, batting average. He's, he's giving you 130 innings tops, okay. right? Listen, tops, and then he's breaking, and then he's not care. hitting as well. He had 44 home runs last year while he was pitching. And then he broke, and then okay. he can pitch. And I think at some point, not at 29 years old, not in the first year of a 10-year deal, that we just go, yeah, let well, year two. Pitch. It'll be year two already. Okay, right. fine. Right. You're, you're, but, you know, this is a big money decision. No, there's no question that economics play a part in this, but I'm thinking what's best for the player. Now, ultimately, if Shohei is like insistent that he do both, well, of course he's going to do Here, both. Here's my question him. to a guy who sat in the seat and you dealt with rosters as, as a 25-man roster. Is Would we find out, and I don't know, because I, I was in the bullpen a little bit in my career, very little bit at the end. 
Is he is he a guy that comes in and throws 98 to 101, split, 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 throws 12 pitches, and he high fives everybody? Yeah. After he went four for four and, and hit a home run. Right. So can he be a closer? Can he be at the Thank end you. of the game? Thank you. How do you how do you manage that? So he's due up that inning. He's going to bring him into pitch the ninth. He's coming up to hit. How are you warming him up to get him ready to come into the game to be able to do that? that that's the, and I've thought about Fair. that, too. But how do I manage him? Like, he's really difficult to manage as much as you think, oh, man, I'd love to have this guy. Again, I think that he is so special that I think you have to ride it out. But if he breaks down a third time, okay. you're looking at a, I'm a with third right. injury to him. Right. At right. that point, he's a position in the player. Real, in the real world, next year when I say, hey, we're shutting you down, you're just going to hit, nah, you can't do it. But I'm ready to pull the trigger with what Steve said. Right. The, at the, the next time you break, his body can't quite take it mentally, physically. It's amazing that he can do it. But I'm saying now, eventually, I think they get to in the front office, Andrew Friedman and company are up there. I think they're thinking at a certain point, you know what, how to best maximize him since he's the best hitter in the game and if you let him pitch he might be the best pitcher in the game but you can get so much more out of him put him in right field let him play and then I don't know maybe in a playoff series can he come out of the bullpen and throw mm -hmm. as like a, an ultimate weapon maybe